What's going on everybody? It's the Bull Show, aka Aiden, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about a pretty interesting topic about the buyout market, ladies and gentlemen. I guess the question is, will the Chicago Bulls do any more business in relation to the buyout market? And I guess another question is, should the Chicago Bulls do anything in the buyout market? But before we get started, please like and subscribe to the Bull Show, turn notifications on, and let me know in the comments below your thoughts about the current Chicago Bulls roster. Obviously, our first buyout option in Tristan Thompson. What were your thoughts on his debut game? Because we will be getting a little bit about him in this video. And again, answering the two questions, should the Chicago Bulls do anything? And will the Chicago Bulls do anything more in the buyout market? Now, ladies and gentlemen, we have done business before in terms of this buyout market. And his name is Tristan Thompson, currently wearing the number three for the Chicago Bulls and ended up having a a relatively strong debut at the United Center and for the Chicago Bulls as they faced the Atlanta Hawks who picked up a big victory and just overall pretty happy about how he ended up going about the game itself and it goes to show that sometimes the right decisions again about this team is not always about the biggest of names but sometimes it's the guys that we think we could very much use that doesn't exactly cost us a whole lot to pursue and that's what Tristan Thompson was for the Chicago Bulls. Now, with the success of Tristan Thompson, I guess the question will be asked for many of you guys. If there's still room, is there anything left that the Chicago Bulls can do in the buyout market? Well... The buyout market, the most important thing to take away from this is that it could really be a wide open playing field to what players are available at what certain times. So I don't believe we have too much longer for the buyout market. I think it's in the 1st of March or something of that nature where if we don't get any buyouts until that date, then any buyouts that we get after that date won't be able to participate in the playoffs. So there is a limit. There is a time frame of when we can go and pursue more Chicago Bulls players or more players to join this team so there's a time frame and obviously it just all depends on who's going to be brought out from certain teams but let's just say hypothetically the guys that we were looking for is but is going to get bought out do the chicago bulls act on any of those players i'm going to say first do i think they should before i answer will they because they're two different questions that definitely in my opinion have two different answers so should the chicago bulls do something in my opinion, I think if the right player is bought out, I do not see a reason why the Chicago Bulls cannot pursue another player. Obviously, it results in us having to waive somebody to get a bare minimum contract in. I think that can make sense for the Chicago Bulls if the right player presented itself. Obviously, we were linked to a lot of guys, like again, a Goran Drogic, who went to the Brooklyn Nets at guard. I think many of us were looking, looking at him to maybe be a Matt Thomas replacement, as he hasn't got game time against the Atlanta Hawks. Maybe that's an indication that the Chicago Bulls are not going to use him much more in this season. Then obviously you turn to other things like maybe we need a power forward. The power forward position still at the moment is a relatively undersized one. What we see from Tristan Thompson in one game of a sample size is that he's going to be the backup center for the Chicago Bulls. I don't really see him being involved much in the power forward position, but obviously it's too early to tell. So in that regard, maybe we should be looking for A, another backup power forward that could definitely help the Chicago Bulls and maybe add a little bit more size into the team in a different position. Or we could go for a backup center and maybe move Tristan Thompson as a power forward for the Chicago Bulls. Whether it's starting off of the bench, that definitely helps with the size issues that we have on certain occasions as well. So there are definitely players out there, in my opinion, that fits the needs of the Chicago Bulls. And again, it's not necessarily just buyouts that we could be considering here. We could be talking about free agents. We could be talking about players in the G League that could get called up and all of these types of things. It's not just the buyout market, but the buyout market is probably where you're going to get some of the most success at least at this point of the season for the Chicago Bulls if there were certain type of players to get bought out so interesting thing to take note of and I guess if there is an opportunity I think the Chicago Bulls should definitely continue to pursue the buyout market and just see how successful we could be from that in my opinion there are certain type of players no matter the position that we need or the position that, that we don't need if there's some players do get bought out it might be too good to refuse it's when it comes to a developing type of player or an already ready now type of player very similar to a Tristan Thompson I felt like that was a deal that was going to be too good to refuse if he wanted to come here 
here. And by all means, we brought him here and we used the biannual exception to bring him here. So we did what we were supposed to do. We put all of our efforts into Tristan Thompson. And so far, one game sample size again. Still have a long way to go. It's worked out. So, if there's another means to get another player into this team, I would hope the Chicago Bulls would consider it, and maybe they should act upon certain other players if they were to become available. Now, the question that I have for you guys now is, do the Chicago Bulls want to do anything more? My opinion is on this situation, I again, as it's in a similar sense to the last question, it depends on the player that becomes available, but... I think it's going to be much more difficult now for anybody else to become available to join the Chicago Bulls. I don't see the Chicago Bulls being anywhere near as active as they were in the buyout market for another player. And the reason is that as much as we see Tristan Thompson as a major help for the Chicago Bulls, I think Arturis and the front office of the Chicago Bulls clearly love and value this team for what it is, even without Tristan Thompson. I think Tristan Thompson was a very obvious choice. And again, if there's another obvious choice out there, then I think the Bulls would have a little bit something to say about that. But if there's no obvious choices for the Chicago Bulls, if we don't go left field and bring someone that maybe wasn't as expected for the Chicago Bulls, then I don't see us doing anything major for the rest of the season. I think this is the main team that we're probably going to be rocking with until the end of the season and the playoffs. And we'll see what outcomes we can get out of this season with this team. Hopefully it's good signs. Hopefully it's a good performance. Hopefully it's something special. But as of this point in time, I think this team has been has proven to a lot of people that it's still a worthy team it's a winning team whether it there's injuries or not and I find it very difficult unless it's either a Matt Thomas replacement, another guard to bring in as a third choice for another injury. I don't see the Chicago Bulls really going in, going in for any other type of player. So in terms of the backup center position, I think Tristan Thompson is going to fit that position. In terms of the backup power forward and the power forward positions, they clearly value Javante Green as a starter. And that's why he is still starting for the Chicago Bulls today. And then you bring back Patrick Williams, who originally was playing in the power forward position at the, at the beginning of the season, I think they feel like they have that covered for the moment. And that's up to the Bulls to decide whether that's the case or not. But that's something that I'm going to trust. If they believe that they've got the players ready here where they don't need to focus on anybody, then that's what I'm going to trust that they'll do. But yeah, as I was saying before, I don't see the Chicago Bulls doing anything in the buyout market. I think we'll be waiting a couple of days and then this will be, I guess, a conversation of the past. We won't be talking about this much further and we'll continue to go into the end of the season fully strong, fully ready and hopefully fully capable of doing something special. So let me know in the comments below what you think. Again, should the Chicago Bulls act on bringing another player in? If it makes sense, I absolutely believe they should. Will they do that? It's, unless it's very obvious, I don't see them doing it. So let's just wait and see what the Chicago Bulls will do overall. It's their decision. They've surprised many of us before, and I'm sure they continue to surprise us every single day. We'll wait and see what they could do in the future. Have a wonderful and safe day, Bulls Nation. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe if you're new. I'll see you in another Chicago Bulls video. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay tuned for more. Take care and peace.